Hello, everyone. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Cocoon, shall we? I've seen this game on many of the lists for Indie Title of the Year. I've heard about it a little bit, never played it. It's on Xbox PC Game Pass, so I've been meaning to give it a shot. And I was going to play Baldur's Gate 3 tonight, but I didn't realize how large the patch was, and I started downloading it, and immediately I realized I had made a mistake, and I can't actually play Baldur's Gate 3 until it finishes, and it's going to take over an hour to finish patching, so I'll have to do that later. It's a huge patch. Morgan, Lexi, good, good evening, good to see you. <laughs> Hilarious, Lexi. I don't know if there's butterflies. We're going to find out. Oh. Well, maybe this is my cocoon. Or a cocoon. Oh, wow. No, not butterflies. Looks like a butterfly person. Okay, here I am. So I am, as I said, playing on PC, and I'm using a controller here. <laughs> Lexi. No. No butterflies, it looks like. I think you're in the clear. All right, so I can't do much right now. All I can do is run around. And let's see. So I guess this is an emerge and see kind of experience. Let's see what we can do. I can walk through the water. All right, there's a staircase. Staircase is gone. We're talking one-way travel. Looks like a, maybe a teleporter. Oh, if I stand on this, I can do something. Okay. I made a little ramp. Hey, Morgan, congratulations. That's awesome. So, I saw in the text about the game that this was a puzzle game. And like a platformer, puzzler kind of atmospheric indie experience so I'm excited let me just check something really fast uh, let's see about the controller all right very easy very simple and um, this is all fine too okay good I don't need to change any settings let's go all right it's like a dragonfly shadow Okay, we stand on this thing, and we can interact and open the door. And we're into this chamber. And, okay, here comes our first puzzle. So it looks like they want us to slide this or move this. Oh, I can pick it up. Oh, interesting. I'm pulling it. Okay. And... I need to go up there, but if I let go of this, is anything bad going to happen? No, it looks fine. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I believe that the people who made this game made Inside and Limbo. So it's going to be a game in that vein. All right. We've got some platforms going across. I, let's see, okay. And I don't want to fall down, I don't think. I wonder if, oh, I see what I want to do. I want to turn this on, but then run off right here so I can go back on this platform over here. All right, awesome. Oh, okay, I can hold the A button to get this one to go up. Oh, boy, I jumped off. Okay, interesting. I had a little bit of a flight 
after that. Uh, gee. I don't know what that is. It looks organic and artificial at the same time. It looks kind of like a fruit, but it also looks like it has arteries, maybe roots, and then some robotic parts coming out the top. I can't do anything with this, but there's a little path over here. Let's see what this goes to. Okay. Oh, I'm locked in. Well, that's uncomfortable. And there's a few of these little guys. Okay, one, two, three. Opened it. All right. Okay. And I can use this and... Whoa. Interesting. Now, I did not expect that. Um... What is this? Okay. Butterfly guy. Oh. He's got a lot of little guys coming around him. Interesting. Alright, was that a vision of the future? Alright, I picked this up. Uh, looks like I can go down here with this ball. And, uh, okay. I'll try to go up here. There's a staircase up here. Oh, there's some steps over here as well. Do I know what I'm doing? Nope. Yes, cheese machine. Good evening. It is. Or I believe it is. I know that the people from uh, Limbo are involved. Jabril, thank you for subscribing, my friend. All right, uh, we're going to go over here and use this and see where it takes us. Now, this looks back to where I was, so I don't know if we need to use this just yet. Unless I can go underneath that, but I'm going to save this and just kind of explore what's over here. What do we got? We have... Uh, like a catcher or a funnel or something. Um, hey, Sergeant Slaughter, what is up, my friend? Oh, cool, you've played this? Thank you for the encouragement. That sounds great. I like your endorsement. Okay. So, something going on this side. Okay, interesting. Do -do 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 -do. Well, then, let's not ignore this and go this way. Yeah, Morgan, it really is, my friend. And I'm going to run... No, I can't run under, but I can go back down. Oh, I see. You know what I can do is... Now I can take the ball. So... I can take the ball over here and... See what I can do with this orb. Do do do. I can dump it in this hole. Okay, there it goes. A little Rube Goldberg going on here. Alright, let's go up here. Let's see what we've got. Uh, I probably need this guy, so let's take him. Oh, interesting. I can change direction. Ooh, I wonder if I time this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, interesting. Okay. Wow, lots of things to explore. All right, what happens if I put it in here? Let's follow it. Okay, so I don't want it to do that. I need to step on the switch. Let's follow it. Let's step on the switch and change its path now. And then let's go over here. And change the path to over here. And then it's going to come out here. But I want to change the path again. And then this should turn on this ramp. And it does. And then now we can go back across this way. And pick it up. Alright. So what can I do with you, huh? Well, let's see. What do you do? Oh, okay. 
Well, let's see. If I time this right, I can make a opening. So now we can, um, let's see if we can get it timed up. I think that'll do. Seems pretty reasonable. Can I fit through here? I sure can. Um, can I put it down? No, I can't set it right there. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do? Hmm. I don't need this ball right here. Oh, wait. No, I have to hold A. Never mind. I lied. I do need it. I just needed to hold the button down. Okay. So, let's see. What does it do here? Okay. Um, interesting. Well, what do you do in here? Oh. Well, I didn't expect that to happen. But, as cool as this is, it doesn't get me... Doesn't allow me any progress just yet. So let's try... What's it do over here? Oh. Wow. This is a very interesting game. It's like a dream sequence, kind of. Oh, I can't take it off. Okay. Good to know. Uh-oh, I'm locked. What is this? Uh... Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we know what to do with this guy. We can rotate it. Pull this around. And... Okay. Now this thing is standing up. If I let go, is it okay? Yeah. And what has changed? Oh, that's right. I can hit these things. Okay. Hit all of these guys. No, there's an ordering. Okay. So there's an order I need to do this in. All right. So let's look for patterns. Uh, well, this is on... This one is on the, the pillar that I raised. Oh, oh, wait. I see. This is on the bottom. This looks like number one. And then if I rotate this, I can see... Um, then there's this one, too. And then three and four? I'm not sure. But it looks like you would push this one first. Then the slash as two. Then that guy as three. Then that dude as four. And then that one is five? Mm, not sure. Well, good news is I can just see them. So I'll drop it right here and I'll try it. Let's go with this. One. Two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. All right. And then Pentagon and this. Three, four, five. Okay, it worked. All right. Now, uh, what's it doing? Oh, it's making another one of these orbs or whatever. Oh, no, this is not an orb. Let's hold down the button. And... Oh, I got a little... Is it like a little buddy? Yeah, it's like a... You know, like your thing in Destiny or whatever. It's going to scan stuff for you. I don't know. Okay. Uh, hi, buddy. And let's go check some other stuff out. Hey, Fear the Knights. How's it going, my friend? Good to see you. Um, and, okay, the he... Oh, got us out of that jam. And let's see. Now we can go back here. Let's see what he does if I do this. Does he have any reaction to this? Can you turn this on? No. What about this guy? If I, if I close it. No, that no longer does anything. Interesting. 
Okay, then maybe I didn't do everything that I need to do so far. Hmm. Okay, so nothing is happening here. So let's then... Oh, that guy is gone. It's not coming back. All right, so I have to do something here. Oh. I didn't realize I could just hold down the button and then teleport through. Okay. Well, now I'm figuring it out. All right, now we're back in the desert world. And we've got our little floaty guy. And we can now open these... So it's kind of like, I don't want to say Metroidvania, but, you know, now we have a new power to open new areas. And let's see, can you do anything with this guy? No. What about this purple flower? He's got a reaction. Oh. Oh, there he goes. Okay. And now we can go over here, I guess. Open this. All right, we got a bridge. Okay. I'll run across. Whoa. I love this music. Uh, okay, interesting. Crystals. Nothing over there. All right, there's a platform to jump to. Okay. This looks like a new device. Oh, it's like a a moving platform. All right, well then let's set this up to create a bridge for ourselves. You can see on the ground there's little tracks, like almost like a road, you know, to help you, guide you to what's possible. And then let's just let go of it. And then now... We can go over here and charge up. Okay, we jumped over here. And this disco ball is red. Oh my goodness. Now that I... There's many times in this game where... Oh. It's so often like the interaction, I'm not expecting it. You just gotta roll with the punches. Alright, so there's some black glo gloopy things there. Uh, what's over here? If I charge this up, this guy uh, jumped up. Okay. And is now gone. Alright, well, hopefully that's good. And yeah, we can go this. Uh-oh. They're coming after us. Let's run. Yeah, it's such an interesting game. You keep thinking, like, at some point it's going to be, you know, like Zelda or something where I'm going to have to fight these enemies, but it's it's not that. It's an experience. Okay. Um, just using your brain, exploring, you know, a beautiful world. Okay, so we need a ball. Okay, yep, we get, now we have warped back into this world, but, oh wait, was that where I was before? Let me think about that. No. I need to get another one. Okay, these guys are all here. And they've attached to this guy's face. Um, what are you? Uh, we don't know. Oh, the bridge is gone. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, I can interact and get this guy to come out. I can pick this up. And then... Oh, it was like a bomb or something. I didn't... Ex All right, I hit it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, he's doing a crystal attack. Oh my god, I'm too young for this. Um, alright. They're flying at me. Alright. 
Oh, here's another bomb. Okay. So let's get another one. I hit him. Now, the bomb doesn't appear to hurt me. I'm going to run away from this guy. Dee -dee 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 -dee. All right. So these guys get you, and you just use your only action to get rid of it. It's so clever how the game only has, you know, the one button, really. It has the controller, and it has the interact. Uh-oh, he threw me out. Well, that's unpleasant. Okay, so I think I might have failed right there. Yeah, I did. All right, I got to try that again. Oh, maybe I keep my progress. We're just going to buy some time until the bomb guy comes back. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, boy. So, if I am not paying attention... Hey, Neko, good evening, good to see you. If I don't pay attention, then I get hit and I get thrown out. So, what I've got to do is wait to get the bomb until I'm not getting hit. Just be more patient. Alright, so these are really easy. They hit you and you just can shake them off. And then about this point, here we go. The bomb guy is here. But, oh, he blew up the bomb. Okay, so if you're slow. So we have to wait to pick up the bomb in a time when we can protect it. Got him. Or at least I hit him again. He's going faster, you can see. He's very upset. All right, so this is going to hit us, and we just break them off. All right, got him. Okay. Oh, no, it's another phase. Okay. Um... I guess we're going to wait for the bomb again. Oh, tricky. But I don't see the bomb. Oh, there it goes. Okay, great. Well, let's try to get over there. Take that. This guy's like, how could you? Look. You get what you get. Okay, great. Alright, uh... That happened. Oh, okay, so we have a new point of entry going into the other world. Whoa. Wow, okay. Okay. That happened. Interesting. Um, so, what are these things that I've opened? Or they're partially opened? Nah, actually nothing new has happened. Oh, wait. Now it's glowing. Um, okay. Interesting. Oh, look at this. Wow, it makes the... The bridges appear. Alright, well, we know we want to go this way. Huh. Okay. Alright, I'm going to pull this down. Oh, I see. I'm going to change the position of the bridge that I can now see. Now, I don't know if this is going to take us the right way. We might have to alter this a little bit. But we can go here. We can use this. And this will uh, maybe allow us to get to a different bridge. 
Yep, it turns the corner. Huh. Okay. Now, let's see. Well, I'm not actually sure if I want to do that or not. Because I turned the corner, but as far as where I can go, I run out of options. And I want to get down there. So maybe I should hit this switch again. And see what happens if it goes this way. Alright, now it goes back over here. Which... I could... Mm, I can't go back, I don't think. But I could go back and maybe rotate the bridge. Okay, sure, I'll try that. What if I now... Um, put this back to turn this on to move this over here to then pick this up and check this out. So this does go here. But now we can try to switch, flip the switch again. I don't know if I did actually changed anything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I did, but I'm doing it wrong. Um, I, I shouldn't have moved the bridge if I want to do this. Okay, now I get it. So what I need to do is... Um, put it this way just for a moment so I can get back. Then we're going to rotate the bridge back to where we had it, I think. You'll have to give me a second as I work this out. So often with puzzles like this, um, I have to do it a few times. Alright, so now what we want to do is... Um, rotate this. Yes, like this. But we're going to go back like this. And now we can move this. And it's in the right position. And we should be able to continue along this path. And go... Well, we can go over to the left. And then this allows us to walk on this little bridge. And go down... Here. But there's nothing over here yet. So... By the way, in this game... If you ever play it, you can't fall off the edge. So you don't have to worry about, like, your precision with platforming in that way. Which is, I, I honestly like that design choice. Um, okay, so we need to get down there. Let's see, where does this go? Nowhere. So what is this going to switch for us? Yes, okay, great. It's going to put that back over here. And then we can... Um, Oh, interesting. Now, wait a minute. I thought that would actually do something, move once I was there, but it doesn't. So maybe it's a timing mechanism at this point. Let me look at this again, see if I can figure it out. Uh... I can't leave the ball there. Oh, oh, right. I need to connect it. Okay, I got it. So what we got to do is hit it here, and then run, and then get on now. Okay, cool. All right. And then this, charge this up. Whoa, I jumped over here. Okay. Uh, what's up this way? Two dead ends. Okay. Okay. And then this down here, we can go to one of these guys. And let's see, what's the red one do? Not much yet. What's that one do? Okay, I need two. Alright, well, what's over here? And charge it up. Alright. Aperture open. 
going down the steps. Uh-huh. What is this? Oh. Okay, well, what if I leave this here? Good. Oh, it's timed. Okay. Um, alright, so... It looks like it moves back in a pretty straight fashion. So there's another one on the other side. So we need to get these lined up at the right time. Unless I can... Alright, so that one's going to go back. But let's see if I can get this... Got it. Had to get him right at the exact same time. Okay. So now we can go over here. Oh. Yeah, Neko. Puzzle game for sure. Um, okay. And this triangle guy is... Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Hi, ghosty. That's an impressive trick. Oh, boy. So now we have another orb. To go with... The first orb we got. So I knew we needed two. This one looks like a forest. You know? So... Well... We do have a question. How do I get... How do I get them both? I guess is a question I have. Oh, I just pick it up. Derp. That's the answer. Okay. So, we can put the red one on the red. I guess. And then... Give me this. And put it here. Okay, and now I have the choice of filling this up with whichever I want. Let's try this green. I don't think I've ever done this place. Where are you going to take me? Well, Water World. A much different environment. It's like an exterior... Coral Reef, okay. And I need a ball to go over there. Hmm. Well, can I take this one in here? Oh, I, it just switches them. Uh, all right, well, I guess I should switch it. I didn't see anything I could do just yet, but I could be doing it wrong. Oh, wait. No, no, I was switching it by... Here, try it again. There we go. I was just pushing it lightly. Now I can carry this ball over here. Perfect. Okay. You have to charge it. Okay, you have to hold down the button to get here. All right, let's go over here. Ooh. Okay. I need my little flying guy to get rid through that area. And let's see, can I go in here? No. Okay. So it's time then to go here. And I guess maybe what I want to do is uh, now switch them and see if I can make further progress using the green ball in this world. Alright, so... What's that guy? Glowing diamond, dude. Alright, well, we can do this and go this way.
Oh. Okay, we're locked in here. It's another one of these puzzles. Of sequencing. So... Let's look for hints as to what order this should go in. Oh, look behind, look back here. Okay, so let's go left to right and go diamond, pentagon, triangle, hexagon. So we'll go diamond, Pentagon, triangle, hexagon, letter H. All right, I think that was it. Here's my buddy again. So we can get through the gates now with little flying guy. Take that. Delete. Okay. So, for example, we're going to need to find something in the green world that deals with those. We don't have it right now. Uh, and is there anything down here that's worthwhile for us? goes for quite a ways, doesn't it? Huh. And there's an aperture. Um, oh, I can go this way. Okay. Oh, no, I already did that. Okay. I was just backtracking. Alright, so now we can pick up this ball and go back to the place in between, switch these up, charge it up, and go back into the watery green world, and there was a gate that we can now get through. And this orange ball will allow us to see the hidden path. So we're using all of the different powers together. Now this goes over here, but, um, oh, well, maybe we can do something with these. I'll have to figure this out. There's a black orb. I'm charging up. Oh. Okay, there's that guy. Oh, he flew away. Alright, well. Probably for the best. Needed to move that guy, I imagine. Alright. And let's go back this way. Okay. Char charge it? No, I can't do anything with that. Let's see. Oh. Oh, he ate my guy. Okay, we have to get him back. Interesting. So, we can't easily take our guy back. Because this guy's going to try to eat it. So, we need to figure out a way to get through that trap. If there is one. Huh. That's puzzling. Okay. Get it? Puzzling. Alright, nothing that way. Hmm. Alright, let me try one more time. Just to verify that we need some other trick up our sleeve to get through this. Yeah. Yeah, Neko. I actually didn't mean to do that, and then I was like, okay, I said puzzling in a puzzle game. That's... It's worth noting because of just how on the nose absurd it is. All right, so I got this guy to fly away, but what benefit did that give us? I don't know if these are just secrets or if they actually contribute toward your success, but... All I can say right now is I don't see what I need here. 
to get through, so I'm going to have to go back to the green world or investigate uh, the place in between more carefully. Yeah. This isn't doing it. So let's see. Do I have any options here? Well, kind of. No. Is there... Was there a path that was blocked? Well, no, I can't go any further, though. Okay. Hmm. All right, well. Then I need to switch back and look in this world a little bit harder. Yes, I opened up the one bridge, but is that enough? No. I need something more. Can you interact with that? No. Not even close. If I put that there just for a moment. No. It's very possible that what I need to do at this point is go back to the blue water world and figure out a way to get past those guys. Yes, I think I got it. There's nothing here. Like, my gaming instincts are saying, I need to go back here, and I have an idea. Now, my guy can't make it past, but I can. So I was, like, immediately giving up because I was unable to get past, or my flying dude was unable to get past this. But let's not worry about that right now. Let's actually worry about... There we go. Yeah, that's what I needed to do. I was just like, oh, I'm ruined. But I wasn't ruined. I could still move. All right, so now we can try to time this correctly. Yeah, and we'll take this off, and then they'll slide back. Okay, here we go. And then now we can get through this gate with our dude. All right. And there's a little cool digital tree. Uh, and, oh, a way back. Oh, huh. Rather sadistic, but let's see. What happens if I go back now? And I don't think I've gained anything tremendous. I think what I need to do is figure out... Okay. I got it. How far is this guy going to come? To there. Okay. And then he'll respawn over there. Okay. Right. That's fine. Let's see. What do I get over here? Okay, I need to get him here. Alright, how do I do that? Alright, well. Oh. I get it. No, no, I know what I need to do. I need to use the, the space between, or the, the travel between worlds to my advantage. So, time doesn't stop when I switch. So, I'll put this here, and then I'll warp back now. And then you could see, there it goes. Right underneath me, this is a, a mirror into the Ura a lens through which we can see the other world and now we've made it and I can pick this up and we can go back through here 
And then this guy will exit us as he goes to back into this eggplant thing and opens up this door. Sweet. Oh. Are you guys trapped in there? Huh. All right, which kind of bridge do I want, right? This bridge will go that way. Do I want to go this way? Eh, it's hard to know until I go this way, so. Yes, we do. We definitely want to go this way. Hmm. Okay. A timing mechanism. Oh, but a gate. All right, let's dump it in there. The ball is going into the tube. And we'll come out and should open the gate. Or... Oh, I can get through the gate. I just can't when I'm carrying the ball, derp. Okay, great. And, oh, it's a space back. Okay, so... We can now go to the other world. Do we want to leave this here, though? Hmm. I don't see why I would. Let me... Let me think about this, right? Let's pick this up. And then... What does it do? Oh, I keep... I can go through this gate. I keep forgetting that. Okay. Um, is there a way for me... to... Uh... I need to figure out how this portal works. So, is there a way for me to go back and then come through this one? Like, if I go now... I come here. Okay. Mm, let me think about this. Uh... No, that's not going to do anything. No, that's not going to do it either. Um, let me think about this. How can I... It's not like I can turn on one or the other, or at least I don't think so. Let me think about what else I have as an option. It does, Sergeant Slaughter. You got that right. It's asking me, the game keeps asking me, okay, I have some new mechanics. Do you understand them? And... Can I add on more mechanics that you understand? So, I can get through the gate, but I need the ball to be able to, you know, see through these things. And the idea would be, is there a way for me to travel through the portal and then come back holding the red ball over here? Yes, yes there is. Now, I, I get it. I can store it over here. 
I needed to store it on the other side. Oof. Okay, so I can go back here and then pick it up from the other side. I was thinking I my brain was closed and I was thinking I had to keep it on in that world, but I didn't. Here we go. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. So now we can go down here. And if I put you here, it turns this guy on, which does... Oh, it rotates the entire island. Okay. So what do we see over here? Alright, we can get down here. Okay, and then this guy... Uh, he's pretty intimidating looking. And then what's this do? Oh, it kicks me down here. Which isn't bad. We can go back now. Got a little bridge over here. Uh-oh, I'm stuck now. Well, I guess we've got everything we need. It's a boss. Okay, boss man, starfish guy. Oh, All right, I hit him in the head. Whoa, he turned over. Uh oh, that one looks like it might turn into what we need. Or. Yes, okay, there we go. Nah, it didn't work. Interesting, okay. Messed up the mechanic there. So you have to get him to fly over. Certain pillars. They turn into the ball that we need. Ah. I can't be too greedy, okay? That's my fault. Alright. So... I'm not... I gotta figure out how to hit it with the bomb once it's at this stage. Because it almost feels like a... A balloon that's deflating. Nah. If I get close to him with that thing, then he knocks me out. So, maybe I need to hold on to the bomb a little bit longer. Hmm. Okay. And then I'm flying. Yeah, I need to hold on to this. Here we go. I have to wait for him to flip upside down so his belly is exposed to drop it down. All right. So we need to find... Oh, boy. This is getting interesting. We're waiting for one of these to glow. It's over there. All right, we're flying. So now we got to dodge these purple guys. And then...
Wait. Spray it. Drop it. There it is. There it is. Oh, no. Now, we had a deal. This isn't part of the deal. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Take your medicine. All right. Whee. Okay. Well, we get to go to a new area, I suppose. Where are we going now? Oh, no. What's this? Oh, I see. We're moving back. Some more possibilities in this section. And then up here. What is this? Okay. We did something. Mm, what? I couldn't tell you. But something happened. Oh, I need to use this. Oh. Huh. Okay, so the green orb lets me jump up through these cylinders. Alright, well, let's go over here. But then they solidify. Alright. Well, I can fall down, maybe? No, I can't fall... Oh, this way I can. No. Alright, what if I go up here, then, and go on top of this guy? Can I turn it? Yes. Okay. And then I can do the same thing here and drop down. Wow, interesting. Alright. Oh! Oh, we don't want that, though. I need to go here. Okay. And can I pick this back up? I can. Let's go. Move this way. Okay. All right. What do you do? Interesting. Well, if I were to turn this on, does it change your state? It does. And then now this is moving toward me. Okay. Oh. Huh. So what we have to do is run. No, 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 that doesn't work. Right, no, I need you at a different time. What if I do this? What is this doing for me? Puts me down here. How does that help me? No. 
No, I can't do that. Stuck this way. I can't. Yeah. I guess the question is, can I make it here fast enough to freeze it? That's what I need to do. So, I need to go immediately. And nah, that's not quite fast enough, I don't think. But does it change anything that it's closer? No. What if instead I do it this way? Oh wait, no, no, no. I, I misthought that. Here, try this again. I can get here really fast. But the thing is, I can't seem to jump across this. Okay. So I've got it here. I need to get it so it's ethereal right here so that I could use it as an elevator to go up to this bridge but yes I think I have enough time if I go here and then run yeah okay there we go okay Oof. all right um okay so this guy is twisting and I can go over here, go all the way up, still twisting, all right, let's go up the steps, oh wait, is there anything in here, no, okay, oh no, I can't do it. Yes, I can. Okay. Hmm. Okay, no, I need to do this the other way. So basically, I need to get there like this. So I could come over here and open this. And then one, two, and the issue was I needed, I needed to be 
of this state so that when we get to the second platform, we are solid and able to walk right across. Okay. All right, we're up here. And we're back. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Here we go. The only thing we can do is go back to this watery world and take this with us back here. All right. So let's see about exploring this direction. Okay, makes sense. Ah, we need the green orb to go up this. Yeah, where did I leave that thing? Hmm. Not in this world, I don't believe. No. I can't do much, but I can go... Oh, right, it's back right here. Oh, boy. All right. Yes, I can do much. I just need to pick it up. Oh, no, that won't work. Because I need to have this to see the bridge to get across. Urgh, diabolical. So this can go... Okay, I need to bring the green orb through the red world. Or... Wait. Oh, dear. I'm thinking about this. Um... Nah, that doesn't really do much, and then... No, that doesn't do anything. This just goes back, and I don't think that there is anything I can do going back right here. Okay. No, this is never the right s solution. What I need to do is think about how can I get across this but still take the green orb over? There is nothing here that can use either the green or the red orb. Even if I take them both out and put them here, it's, it does nothing. You can't set them down. You can swap them. Alright, let me think about this. What if I take the red orb back into the green world... And then say... No. I mean, yes, I can go this way. Alright, I need the guys. 
I need a little guy to get me through here. There's nothing else we can do. Okay. So this is that was not the solution. Let me look at this one more time. Over here. I didn't go too far over here. Yeah. No, I know what to do. Where does this take me? If I go in here, where am I? Where do I appear? Yes, I got it. Okay. Ugh. I don't know why my brain is struggling with these, but here we go. No, I have to leave the green orb in the red world. So, let's switch this and then go back through. And then we leave the green orb right here. And then we go back through. And then we pick this up. And we run. And then now, I can teleport, get the green orb, and bring it over here. Come back. Here we are. And then now, we can go up here. Let's go. And then... Uh, we've brought this over. And which orb do we want? I don't know if it matters. Let's take them both, though, just in case. The way that this game is set up, it doesn't... I appreciate that, Sergeant Slaughter. Thank you for letting me cogitate... I know it's got to be, like, super painful for many of you who know how to do this or already saw the solution, but I appreciate you letting me bang my head against the wall until I figure it out. That's the beauty of these games. Now, it doesn't seem like this game lets you... Hey, Shara Bunny, how's it going? Thank you. James, what's up, my friend? No, j okay, James, yeah, you can't drop the red orb at all unless it's on a special receptacle so exactly James I overthink it and the game doesn't let you trap yourself so you know if I take this orb with me I can't ruin myself the game is designed in such a fashion that you can't like hard lock your, your progress or anything or get bricked so That goes away, and it's and when that goes away, you just know I don't need that. So in this case, we know that we need this guy to see the hidden bridge, to move over here, and now we have a sequencing, so that we can get the little guy. All right, so let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, what do we got? What information do we have? All right. So usually, somewhere... Things are spelled out about how we need to arrange this. Okay, so I see one, two, two, one of these guys. Let me look around. Let's see if I can find anything further. Oh, look, it's right here. Yeah, Sergeant Slaughter. I know, James, they really are. So it's Diamond Triangle H Hexagon Pentagon. Let me see if that works. So we're going to go Diamond 
triangle H hexagon pentagon there it goes and we can get our guy hold it down and go right through so from here I can just get through this and we're going to take both orbs with us again so I'll drop that there and then I'll pick up the green one because I want all the orbs always okay we'll drop green and we'll come get red. That thing will go away. And let's see what happens. We now have access to the space in between. Okay. So from here, we can... We need whatever... Oh no, either one of these will solve this. So let's just see what's up here first. Okay, uh, we can get through this. And then, let me look back here. Some kind of purple growth, guys. Okay, fair enough. But I think in one of the worlds, we needed the one of these dudes. I'm not sure which one, so let's figure it out. So let's go back to the red world and see where we were stuck. What did we need back here? We needed to be able to get across bridges like this. Oh, that's right. And we need to be able to take out or interact with the, you know, black prism. And that's it going here. So let's go back. What about in the green world? Yeah, Shara Bunny, this is really neat. I, I thought the same thing. I was like, well, why is this getting nominated for so many awards? And I always like to check out games that do get nominated. Okay, so I can bring uh, the green orb over here. Will it... Or the red orb, anyway. Hey, Sid Fortune, good evening. James, the story is totally minimal. There is no dialogue. There is nothing. It's one of those... It's made by the, the people that made Limbo and Inside. So there's like... It's all basically mysterious. There's no dialogue, really. You just play the game as an experience and figure out what's going on as you go. But there, there's no opening cutscene. Well, I guess there is. There's a cocoon opening. And you come out. And that's it. And the game keeps iterating, building up more puzzles. Alright, so now we can go here. And if I place this, it does nothing, but I can go this way in this world. But I think this is actually backward. Oh, no, 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 wait. No, we need to do this. Yes, we got it. This is the right way. Okay. And... Let's see. Do I know where I'm going? No. And some of this feels like, did I already do this? Sometimes my memory is not good, so... Yes, I did. I've already been here. But not here, clearly. Oh. Uh-oh. All right, there's two traps for my dude. Exactly, James. You just got to figure it out as you go, and that's part of the puzzle and part of the fun. 
All right, so we can place this here, and it will move them. Well, let's see what happens if I go over... Uh, interesting. What's over here? There's a jump. Oh, I forgot. Sorry about that, dude. Right. Okay. I think I see. I need this. And we can jump and drop this ball into the tube here, like this. And then we have a little bit of time. So let's go. Let's pick up this. And then we got to go. Because very, very soon we need to move with this. We got to move with it. Like this, and then go here. Sweet. Okay. And then this guy can get rid of this for us. Um, do we want to go this way? Yeah, this is great. Because now we can get the orb. Alright, now we go back. And... Sailing through. And this will let us walk across the bridge. We can see it with this orb. And let's just kind of... Alright, we need to go this way. Hey, Crab, good evening. Good to see you. And we come over here. And let's go up here, I guess. And we can get rid of this gate. And launch. Whoa. I'm in the water. That was kind of unceremonious, but that's okay. Uh, there's these little mushroom guys. Get out of the way, little balloons. All right, let's go this way. And that has retracted permanently. And we can now go to the other world. We can get our guy back. And what does this do? Oh, it creates a jump. But only if it's there. Huh. Oh, there's that thing again. You know, it kind of reminds me of... Uh, it's an eclipse. Like, it looks like an eclipse, but it also gives me some Phantom Zone vibes. Alright. That guy is there. He's going to eat my dude. How far does he come? Jump! No, I didn't make it. I think the jump it needs to be involved, though. Go! Aww! That was so close. Okay. Got the right idea. It's got to get the timing down. I need to start to jump earlier. So, like, as soon as it starts moving, basically. There we go. We made it. We made it, little guy. Get to your purple plant. All right, now we open this one. Very scary. All right. Ooh, a purple orb. Okay. Ah, oh, this is so weird.
How about that? This is psychedelic in a lot of ways. All right. And let's go. Just very dreamlike. Okay. Now we've got the purple orb. I don't know what to make of that. And I can go this way vaguely. A little waterfall. Let's see what the powers of this purple orb. I have a feeling that this Cthulhu purple is going to interact with our good friend, the prism. Mm, but not yet. Okay. So what do we want to do now? Well... Oh, that's right. There is some purple stuff over here, isn't there? Here, let me switch these up. No, I can't get through. Uh... Hey, Noth. Good evening. Good to see you. I can get through now. But... Still can't make much to do with this, given my situation. Let's see if the purple guy does anything to any of these purple... Like, growths. Oh, we haven't gone into the purple world, derp. That's what we gotta do. Switch it. Let's go into the purple world. <gasps> Noth, nice! I got my wood cutting to 71, yes. And I think I needed to get it to 72 for a quest right after that. So I'm gonna keep pumping it. All right. Let's see what's in here. Boy, this is a really disturbing looking world. It's uh What would you say this is? It looks The game's aesthetic is such an interesting mix of like technological but also organic. Like I feel like I'm inside a a body but it's also alien and robotic. All right, let's see. What do we got here? What does this do for us? It's going to drop this guy over there. Oh, and it makes a bridge. Well, it looks like some kind of parts. It looks organic. But I I agree, like, there is a feeling of, you know, you have a lot of apertures, right? So there is that kind of stuff going on. But then there's also this feeling of, like, embryos and, uh, you know, gestation. All right, let's see. Where am I going? All right, that guy's not happy unless he's got payment. Oh, man, this place is huge. There's really no need to explore it when if you're not carrying an orb, usually. But I was just poking around. All right, so if I take this... We retract the bridge, but that's fine. And then, what if I put you here? Can you take this? No, you aren't for that. Interesting. Okay. Well, where else can I put this? Here. What is it doing here? Okay. Well, it's going to go land over there. All right. 
Oh, hopefully that did something. Oh, I can walk through these gates, okay. Now let's pull this. That moves that for us. Okay. And then, what else we got going on here? Really what it does is it, it doesn't open anything. It just puts itself over here so that we can use it, you know, someplace like that. Oh my. Hi, buddy. Are you coming with me? Okay. Yeah, sure. All right, come on. Um... Can you do anything with these guys? Yes, you can. Oh, I mean, this is like a digestive track. All right, it's coming this way. Let's follow it. Oh, it needs the thing. Sorry, I... You need this to come across. Here you go, buddy. I guess. And then there it goes. Oh, I need you over here at that black... This guy. Can you do this? Yes. Yes. We made it. Okay. Hmm. Alright, this will take us back. And let me just kind of get the lay of what else is going on here. Well... I mean, the green orb is stuck up there. I don't know how I'm going to get that back very easily, but let's... Yeah, let's go back. Uh... No, I don't... This is not what I'm supposed to do. It's nice to have this, but I need to figure out something else. I need to bring more orbs down here to get this going. How am I going to do that? Uh, oh, I don't have to leave this green orb here, do I? It just was used temporarily to open the door, but it doesn't have to permanently be there. Now I can do stuff. Okay. Now I've got greeny. And, Greeny, can you do anything with this? Halfway. Halfway, okay. Where else can I take this? <laughs> hey. No, thank you for subscribing, my friend. I appreciate that. Indeed, RIP Gluttons Vagabonds. Man, that game is so much fun. That's what Glutton got. I love the name of, like, you know, middling bosses and their henchmen and everything. It's always cool. Okay, so... He did. He did have it coming. Long time coming. I could go here, but again... Meh, that doesn't do it. I can switch. What does taking the purple ball into the green world do? Oh, no, 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 I got it. I can bring the, yes, okay. It's not, I need to set this here and I need to go back here and, and I can bring the red orb out. It doesn't need to stay there and power that anymore. Let's come back here. Let's put this here and then let's pick up this and switch this and now we have two orbs that we can use to power the device at the puzzle we're at in the purple world. So we can put this here and then go back and get the other guy. So 
sweet. There you go. Oh boy. Whoa, this place is huge. I'm on like a hovercraft in hexagon alien world. Okay, now my orbs are flying away. Let me see where they're going. Uh, I want to kind of follow them so I don't lose track. Oh, they're going up here, it looks like. Or not. Where are you guys going? Uh, well, I hope you land. There it goes. There's one of them. Thank you. I appreciate that. Alright. Um, oh. Well, that wasn't what I was going for. Okay. So let's go this way. We need to work ourselves over to the green guy. We made that. It went away. I'm sad. Okay, let's see. This makes a bridge there, but it goes away. Uh, let's see. What are you going to do? If I put you in here... It allows me to get through the gate. Useful. Okay. Alright, what do you do in here? Oh, you make the guy. Okay, little guy. Come on. I need you to go this way. Can you use this, little guy? Oh, no, no. I can make a bridge for you. That's what I can do. Here. Come over this bridge. There you go, buddy. Alright, and then... Let's keep going. I can make another bridge for you. Can you use this? Oh, I need to take you up here. Here, you stay up there. No, maybe he doesn't need to do that. Well, you can come back this way. Yeah, make the... Ooh, I fell. Okay, I have to go slower. Alright. Let's try this. Alright, come over this way. Yep. Hey, come on up this way, buddy. Good. Good job, little guy. Alright, this way. There you go. There you go. Now we're doing good work. Alright. Can you... Hmm. Wow. Well. Now what can I do for you? Hey, Mage, what is up? Good to see you. I don't think this actually works the way that I want it to. Um, I think I need to do something else before. I'm going to just drop down. It's easier that way. I need to get the guy to go across this so we can hit that button. But it's difficult to get him to stay up here. Maybe if I go really, really far, like if I run in a circle, and then he's far, then he I can get him to go... That's a no. It's a massive no. Alright, um, what's down here, buddy? Oh, okay. We didn't go this way, did we? Uh, well, we didn't, but... Here, can you activate these things? You can. Here, stay right there. Can you... Oh! I never knew I could pick it up. Okay. No, now I know. Okay, now I figured... Okay. So I can pick it up and use that guy as like a pressure plate trigger. What are you doing? What are you on about? Alright. Okay, that guy's out of here. 
Mage, there's only really one button in this game. There's the controller and there's interact. The only thing, he will follow you. I think this is just a secret. I don't know if this actually has any other purpose. But now I know what I can do over here because I figured it out at the secret. He's going to follow us. And he has the power that the Red Orb has, which is to reveal hidden bridges. But no, no, no. Here's all I have to do. I have to just put him right on this. And then I take this off. And then he, it stays right there. I could go cross this bridge. And I can hit this to turn that off. And then we're going to get the guy back and have him follow us up. We're going to go this way. And we can now move around the corner and have him follow us. And now he'll just follow us all the way up here. Now, he will get absorbed by this, I believe, and be one side of this. And now I could take this over here to try to get the greenie. So this guy is like flying over there, but I have to go near him for him to drop it. There he goes. He dropped it. Alright, so uh, we need the purple orb for that. No, no, no. That's the green orb. Right. Okay, and then what if I dump this? Where does that go? Goes down there. Okay, so we're going to pick this up. And then it's... Oh, it went in the little guy over there. Okay. Great, we're going to make this solid. And then he's down there waiting for us. Let's figure out what we can do. Where can you go? Yeah, we need you to come over here. Um, easier said than done. Oh, I brought him up. Well, that's interesting. So now... He can get us there. Okay. So we're going to drop down. He'll drop down. And then... Mm, I need him actually... Let's try it again with him right there. No, that's not it. Having him frozen is the right idea. Yeah, that's what we need, Mage. Is for him to come up through the middle. But the problem is... I need to get him... Now... There we go. I had to time it right. Okay. And... Now he's there. I need you to go over here, buddy, and come with me? No, no, no. Well... I think we need to go down. I have... To Mm, no, no, no. No, I need to take him back. What am I talking about? Go down. I need to go up. I need to take him back to the puzzle. Come over here, little guy. There we go. This is where we need to go. Well, wait. Kind of. Yeah. Can you come this way, little guy? You got to go really slowly here. I guess I could just switch him at this point. I don't need to be, you know, carrying the green one. But anyway, we made it. And then... He should absorb. Okay, great. We did it. Alright, and let's go. Whoa.
wild. Flying around again. Mage, this game um, is free on Xbox PC Game Pass, but where I heard about it was I got reminded of it recently. It has been nominated for uh, Indie Game of the Year on several game awards outlets that I've seen so I felt like I should check it out it's a very short puzzle game you know but it's really cool alright so we can go back out of purple world which is fine but I can pick this up and then go over here right through and what do we see We can drop down. Now I need the the red orb to get across that. Is there a place to set this? Yes. We'll have to go back and just kind of set it right here. But if I do this, um, can I get back? And pick up the other orb. Not without the green orb. So, I need to get the red orb over here. This takes me back to the purple world. So, what we have to do is, before we bring the green orb over, we have to put the red orb over here. Oh, wait. Don't leave. Get the green. We need to take this back. Alright. So, I did this in the wrong order. So, what I need to do is go back. Like this. Weep. And then down. Beep. And then... We'll put this here, and then we're going to go back out of Purple World into the space in between, whatever place this is. Leave that there, and then come through back into the Purple Orb. Pick up the Green Orb, and then use the platforms to get back here. And then we can now go back through here, set this down, pick this up, go here, and get across this bridge. And there's this thing. Hey, Chef Smitty, good evening, my friend. I don't know if I played Van Helsing 3, but I've played a Van Helsing, and it was actually pretty fun. That is the right price, Chef Smitty. Uh, let's drop this in here. What does this do for me? Apparently it does that. Okay. So this needs an orb of some kind. And what else do we have? Alright, we're going to get one of our guys... But this doesn't have to stay there. It's already been opened. So we can actually put this orb here. Okay. And this doesn't actually help us because it brings us here, but we don't need to go here right now. Um, we need to take this back. And... My head is already trying to figure out <laughs> how to think about this properly. Yes, we do need that there. 
but oh god, okay, I get it. All right. I have to put this here, swap this, and then go into the red world with the green orb, and then drop the green orb off here, then leave. Then the green orb is stored. Oh, it actually shows you visually. You can see very clearly that the green orb is stored inside the red orb. So then I can just have a visual reminder. It's a great question, um, Mage. It's because each orb has a different power. So let me go back into the purple world. The red orb, when your character is holding it, allows you to reveal these hidden bridges. So you see this bridge, if I walk near it, this orb is the only way to get across these bridges. And so I know I need it to get here. And then the green orb is the only way to go up those platforms in the the back, that green, glowy, smoky, vaporous cylinder. So I know I need a green orb, but I can put the red orb here to go inside the red orb and then pick up the green orb that I stored in this dimension, leave the dimension of the red orb carrying the green orb, and then use the green orb to go over here and then come up this platform and do stuff over here. Okay. So now we see that whenever you see these uh, symbols, you need to get the right sequence to open this gate, which will give us a little guy that we can use to get through uh, barriers like we just saw. So I need to find on the ground or someplace in the environment the solution to this puzzle, and it's a sequence. So let's see if it's visible somewhere. Usually it's just like it's hidden in plain sight what you need to do. Um, let's go up. Okay, there we go. Look, one of it looks like triangle first and then uh, now it's hidden. That's bizarre. Oh. And then that, what is that? And then, oh boy. Okay, so now it's diamond, hexagon, triangle, diamond, hexagon, pentagon. Okay, triangle. That guy. Okay. So let's see if I can get this right. So, oh, it's the letter H. Okay. Well, that's what I call it anyway. So let's do it this way. Triangle. This dude. Diamond. Hexagon. Pentagon. Yes. Okay. So once you get them in the right order... It opens this dude, which will spit out the droplet, which will turn into our buddy over here. And we can come back and pick him up. And then this guy can get through these barriers right here for us. So we can go over here, get this guy. All right, and he'll travel with us. And then go over here. And we need to stand here. But these dudes are the nemesis of this guy because they're like a fly trap or whatever. So we need to figure out a way to get around that trap. Now let's see, what are what are my options? Does this move? It doesn't look like it. So let me just go through. He'll get trapped. He'll respawn, though. But let's... Oh, okay. Yep. 
This makes sense. So now we can use the interdimensional space to get the guy. How exactly? is another matter. Um, okay. So here's red. If... How can I get in and out of red and store this guy so that he can get through that. Woof. Right, mage. So we have to figure out a way to get the guy through this because we need him for this barrier. But the problem is, sometimes these move. This isn't moving. So now I have to use this advantage that the game has given me, which is that I can make a portal. And... For example, that's the red world. If I, you know, made this green and I get my guy back. Wait. No, that doesn't work. I think I need one more orb, maybe. I don't know if I can get the purple orb over here or not. So, in this case, I have this guy. And I can go into the green world. This is actually interesting. He'll spawn in the green world. I can actually get this trapped intentionally. And then he will be waiting for me in the green world. So I can leave him there. And then... Okay, boy, that's... I didn't think that was going to be the solution, but it makes sense. So then all we have to do is switch this and dive into the green world and the guy is going to be waiting for us there here because there's a spawner for this guy and then we can get him and go back to the purple world yeah we can't find the purple world because we're in the purple world and then get through this and then the guy will be consumed in his purple plant right here and there we go now, whatever that was did something, and then these are turning on, and it needs two orbs, which we have. We brought them here. So, we'll take number one. Like this. And then we'll go get the other one. So from here, I went in there, and this will open this doorway, there we go, and these guys turned into plants and they're running through. Uh, so let's follow them. They're going to get deposited somewhere. This is like double helix strangeness. Okay. And that launched that guy over there. He's going to go stand there. That's correct. Please do that. Thank you. And then I guess we launch this guy also over there. He knows where to go. 
All right, he, they make a bridge for us. And we can go across. Okay. All right. So now we have access to a way out of the purple world. And we've made a bridge that we can cross. And what's this? Uh, I'll pick it up. Okay. Uh, I don't think that's what I was supposed to do. I see these giant things over to the side. Is that what you want me to do? Weird. Okay. I broke it. So I can trade places with it. So I need to mirror where this is and then break it, I guess. I don't know. That's what I'm calling it, breaking it. And then we need to go over here and break it. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Good night, Neko. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Good night, Slaughter. Oh, man, we got annihilated right there. So we need to go back in. Both the orbs are in the purple world. All right, so we got to try this boss again. And let's see. So how do I beat this? Yep, you go under it and switch. Nope, that's the wrong thing to do. I did the wrong thing. All right. So let's see. What do I do? I'll pick this up. Oh, we still have to hit the thing. Okay. Alright. So we broke off some of the armor of this guy. Uh-oh, he's taking my squares away. That's not kind. I guess these are... Hmm. Hexagons. Yeah, I don't know how to outrun him is a problem. Maybe if I drop the thing... Oh, I have to outrun him by using... by trading places. There's nothing else I can do. Bam. He's angry. Oh, Philly D. I was so close. Now, this game is actually pretty nice about not making you have to fight the whole boss again. You see, it's on the stage that I left it. This is a very friendly... Never mind. I, I lied. It's not on the stage. It's got its arm back. <laughs> I lied totally. I was like, oh yeah, we got it. It's gonna remember where we were. It didn't. Um... Ah, no. I did that wrong. Whenever you have to do stuff like this in games, when uh, it's 
you have to move in the mirror image. It throws me off so badly. I'm, I'm generally not good at this. There you go, he took a hit. Let's run. And then sometimes my eye will be watching the... the replicant, and I'll think that's me. And... it is not good. Hey, look what's inside there. Oh no! I was like watching the boss. Oh, that's my fault. I was all excited like looking inside the boss and I was just trying to check it out and I got killed. That's a shame, but I think we got this. We got this. Let's... No more drop of the ball. I will actually, you do need to drop the ball, but you need to drop it at the right time. Like right here, that's the right time. Oh, I don't even need to trade. Interesting. I can just do it myself. Now, I never realized that. If I go next to the flower myself, I don't even need to. Huh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I just didn't. I didn't think of it that way. But yeah, there we go. All right. Let's not get distracted now by whatever is inside driving this thing around. Uh-oh. I don't like this. What is this? He made it into brains. Oh no, I'm super slow. That's not fair. You can't make it into brains like that. Oh no! Get him! Get him! Oh no! What is this insanity? Get him! Oh my! No! Oh my god, we finally got him. That was a tough one. That guy kept going. Like, he had so many phases. He was like, oh, no, I ain't done. I'm going to be here. Forever. Sweet. Purple light. Whoa. All right. Well, that's good, I think. Um, oh, huh. Oh, this is the purple ball's power. 
It could trade places, just like we saw, so I can go pick it up right here. It can be any of these things. Wow. Alright. So I could just pick it up right here. Thank you, Neko. We did it. Alright, let's see. And I can pick it up here. And put it down here. And walk across these cool bridges. And then we're going to get launched. And any of these. Like, what's this? Oh, I can move you around, huh? Oh my gosh, this is weird. Like, I'm controlling this. I don't know what to say about this. I'm moving it across the brain coral. No, no, go the other way. Okay, I'm doing this wrong. Yeah, there we go. Do it like this. There you go. There you go. Now, no, no, come this way. Um, but now come down and then go to the right and then come down. Uh, uh, oh, no. Yeah, further. Yeah, there you go. This way. Okay, good. Let me let go. Oh my gosh, that is weird. That is a very strange mechanic. Alright, but now I can put it right here. Uh, I don't even know if I need to do that or want to do that, but that happened. And then... Oh, I get it. I can get up there if... Okay, wait. What do I want to do here? No, yes, I got it. Right like this. Okay. So then if I go pick this up, I will go up. With the ball. Yes. Yes. Okay. Man, this music is space alien. All right, there's a launcher up there. All right. So let's go get launched. It is like a little joystick, Neko. It's really interesting. Oh, boy. We, we got kicked over here. All right. And... Uh, well, let's go back across this bridge. Uh-oh, what is this insanity? What are these guys doing? No, no, I don't want you to do that. Oops. That was a mistake. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. Here, go over here. Keep that there for the bridge. And then let's run over this way. Here we go. Oh, weird. All right. It's like a catapult. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We need to use the joystick here. Hey, Game Face. What's up, my friend? Good to see you. And we'll go this way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, weird. All right. Oh, go up. Oh, weird. Okay. Go along the wall. Yep, go along the wall. And then go up. Okay. Up. Good. I'm going to leave it there. Now, I need you to come up here. Well, is that what I need? Maybe I, I need it to be closer so I can touch it.
Got it. All right. We're down. Man, I don't even know what to say. Uh-oh, that guy's like a searchlight. What are you going to do? He's not going to let me walk over here with the purple orb, is he? He doesn't look like the kind of guy who would let me do that. He, he ate it. Oh, well, actually, I don't mind if you put it there. I think that's helpful, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay. So I got to get past this guy. Now, I can make this purple orb again at any time by doing this. You know what we need to do? Is it joystick time? Can we occupy this guy? With one of these? Like a decoy? I don't know. Oh yes, I got I know what we need to do. Okay. So while he's chewing on one, we're gonna pull a switcheroo on him. We're gonna let him gobble this and then grab this as soon as he eats it. So he like say you could take it and then Oh, I have the right idea. Wait until he's out of the way. And then No uh let's see. Hmm. It's kind of the right idea. Let's see. How... It wants to be the right idea. So he eats it, and then... Yeah, but if I do that, it's too fast. Okay, we made it. That I ha just had to get around his little light. Here we go. Now, I think you guys were right. I was... I just probably made it harder than I needed to. Um... Alright, there's a purple guy. Oh, okay. I gotta grab it. Get a new one. There we go. Oh boy, we're deep in purple world now. So there's searchlight guy up there, causing all kinds of mischief, problems. Oh my goodness. Well, I gotta tell you what, I didn't know what to expect from this game, but I think it's an amazing game. It's, it's truly a unique experience. You can see, you know, the legacy of puzzle games. It feels intuitive. It is joystick time, exactly. And I love how it keeps getting harder and harder as you go and you get new powers and, you know, everything seems like it, it's out of a dream. It's such a fascinating experience. I think that we can actually um, beat this game pretty easily without too much effort because it's only supposed to be about four hours or so long. Uh, but at the same time, I won't be able to do it tonight because it is my bedtime. Everyone, thank you so much for coming out to the stream, trying something new. I did just want to experience, uh, you know, what this game was like, and it did not disappoint. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day. We'll be playing some RuneScape tomorrow if you want to come check it out. Game Face, good to see you. Crab, good night. Mage, Sid Fortune, Chef Smitty, Neko.
Sergeant Slaughter, Shara Bunny, Morgan, Lexi Sauce, Cheese Machine, Jabril. Take care, everybody. Have a great one.